This is the Head Core 117, which is the ski I use the most uh, when I'm abroad, skiing powder, big lines and for competitions. And what I like about this ski is that it's such a stable ski, but yet very light. So I also use it for resort skiing, for ski touring and for competitions, of course. I really like it because it's such a stable ski and it gives me the comfortableness when skiing like scare lines and dropping big drops in competitions. And it's a very classic chamber, so it's like a really wide uh, giant slalom ski, I would say. You have a radius of uh, 24 uh, in this length, which is 189, which is the length I'm using. And uh, it has a little bit of a tip rocker and a tail rocker. Not too much, not too little. It's perfect for me. I'm mounting my skis at plus two centimeters from the recommended. And why I do that is because I still want to be a little bit forward and not have too much of a nose. And I want a little bit longer tail so I still can do some freestyling. And, and the, the binding I have mounted is the Tyrolia Attack 2 18. So the dyne goes from 8 to 18. And usually when I'm skiing, I am actually just have it on 13. I'm using the Head Raptor B3, which is a little bit of a ski racing boot, actually. It's uh, 140 flex. I only use one screw because it's because of the stiffness of the boot. And actually, this is the third season I'm using the same boot because I've been using it for two years, so it's really I really got used to the flex and it's a little bit softer now than a, a brand new race boot. I'm using a race liner with lacing, which makes the, the fit of the liner really tight. Something I switched is the inner uh, sole from plastic to rubber. Since the boot is very hard, I still need something soft to land on. As for poles, uh, I'm using Scott. This one is called CO, which is a carbon fiber pole. It has a super ergonomic grip, which is the best on the market, I would say. Um, ski straps, which I'm always using for not like losing my pole when doing grabs or stuff. It has a release system. If I would get caught in something, it releases really quickly. The length of the pole I'm using is 115 and the reason why I'm using uh, shorter poles is because when skiing powder and when skiing in the steeper terrain uh, I want the poles to be shorter so they're, they aren't in my way. Helmet, which I'm always, always is using, is a Scott branded helmet. It's called Scott Symbol 2D Mix Protection System. It also has a, a material called 3DO which also is used in my back protector, which is a soft material which when you get penetrated or hit by something hard, it gets hard. So it's a really soft and flexible uh, back protector which is really nice and comfortable. I use the Scott LCG goggle, which is in my opinion one of the be better looking goggles on the market. They have a, very, uh, a pretty big field of vision that you see all of your surroundings. Uh, we have two screws, which makes the nose part uh, adjustable. So you can adjust the fit for how wide or small your nose is. My backpack, it's a head backpack, ABS compatible. It's a zip-on for an ABS Avalanche airbag. It's two different backpacks which I've zipped onto each other. Uh, so I'm mostly always using the Avalanche airbag system. And in my backpack, I always have shovel, probe, my mammoth avalanche beacon, of course, always a knocko. And uh, when we're out working, radio. Super easy to talk to your friends, fellow skiers, filmers, and photographers. Highly recommended. When it comes to clothing, I'm always using wool, base layer pants and sweatshirt and then I'm using my 
back protector, athletic tech sweatshirt as a second layer, and then my shelf, three layer shelf ski jacket, and of course my backpack if it gets cold, lightweight down, non hooded uh, jacket. Check out my profile at Rybrain to see some more specification about my skis and ski content. See you on the mountain.